Hello, this is video number two for the star scorecard cheat code 5.3a. Rounding, right? So we're not only going to be rounding decimals, but just like the last video, remember this is video two, we're estimating anything. We're rounding numbers to make it simpler and easier to use, and then we're going to add, subtract, multiply, divide. It could be, it could be any operation, but you are going to be rounding. Okay? Compatible numbers. Yes, uh, the last video we just had a, a, a problem. 31 times 80 is, is more difficult than if we just say 30 times 80. Right? Compatible numbers are numbers that are just simpler to use together. 3 times 8 is a lot different than 31 times 8. Okay? Alright. So now let's, let's get to it. Uh, Jan has a game board that looks like the one shown below, okay? Looks like a checkerboard or a chessboard. Which of the following is the best estimate, okay, estimating, the number of black squares that are on 188? Well, let's estimate. 188 is like 200, right? Of these boards. Okay, how many black squares are there? One, two... Uh, two, three, four, right? And so, one, two, three, four. What is four times four? Four times four is 16, right? Or you could just count them out. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I, I messed that up. Four times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! Four times eight is 32. See why I say, don't just do stuff in your head. You gotta prove it on the board. Cause look, there are, like I'm just, there's eight rows, right? One, two, three, four per column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is the correct problem. Eight times four, not four times four. So there's 32 black squares. Well, let's use, let's go, let's round. What is 32? We'll round it down to 30. So 200 times 30. Okay, and we're going to start in the tens place, so we'll add a zero. And three times zero is zero. Three times zero is zero. Three times two is six. There is roughly about 6,000 black squares on 200 boards. This is an estimate, which is the best estimate. Okay, that's not our answer. Our answer would be like 32 times 188. That's the exact answer. All right. Mr. Marquez had 123 eggs in a refrigerator in his restaurant. He put 32 more cartons of eggs in the refrigerator. Each carton contained 18 eggs, 32 and 18, okay? Which of these is the best estimate? We're going to round. You have to round the number of eggs Mr. Marquez now has in his refrigerator. 123 plus 32 plus 18 times 32. 32 cartons. Each carton has 18 eggs, right? So this equals now has. So let's let's just estimate. What is 20? 18 rounds to 20 times 30. Well, that is zero. Three times zero is zero. Three times two is six. Six hundred. Six hundred. So what is 123 plus 600 equals 723? Oh, that's pretty close to 700. See how we did that? See how we estimate? I could have rounded that down, right? 100 plus 600 is 700. But you can you don't have to estimate everything. You get your final answer and then you look at it and you're like, "Okay, that makes sense. That's reasonable." This is it. that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.